I've been a product manager for over 10 years and now I'm a co-founder and I've almost entirely stopped using feature flags for three reasons. The first is that it makes it really easy to become lazy in your thinking and how you're developing the product because you don't really have to think about how you're going to let the user configure their own instance and how you're going to deploy this feature at scale. The second reason is that it does make the code and product really messy, especially when feature flags start to interact with each other. And that makes it hard on the engineers, but it also makes it really hard just to like test the product when there are uh, different scenarios where feature flags interact with each other. Number three is that it puts a lot of pressure on the customer success team and it puts a lot of pressure on enablement because that means that you have to now go and teach a team how these feature flags work. And again, if you hadn't really as a product organization thought about how to make it as easy to understand as possible so that a user could do it themselves, then you're counting on your customer success team understanding that and they're bound to make mistakes because they're human. So really, we've just entirely stopped using feature flags for the most part. We do use it occasionally when we are launching a alpha or beta feature and we don't want to put all the time into the configuration yet, but that tends to be the exception, not the rule.